I want you to stop for a moment and imagine a future in which you can speak any language at all in the entire world. It sounds like science fiction, it sounds crazy, but actually it's not too far off of the horizon. New AI developments have just came out that really make this a reality. Check it out. Hello, my name is Matt Vid Pro AI. I speak English typically, but want to hear my voice in Spanish? Bienvenido al canal. Espero que lo disfrutes y te quedes por aquí. How about Japanese? このチャンネルでは様々な楽しいこう、無回トピックを取り上げています。Let's try Swedish. Artificial intelligence är dock den huvudsakliga och lyssna bara på detta. Är inte världen av AI fantastisk? Now some Chinese for good measure. 如果你能理解所有这些语言，请在评论中告诉我，我会非常印象深刻。As you viewers at home can no doubt see, Matt does not even have to commentate over his own videos now. The AI could do it for him in nearly 30 different languages, all from less than five minutes of voice over. He's going to cut me off, though. What a loser! I'm sure y'all watching would much rather listen to me. You know that guy makes a lot of really great points, doesn't he? As you guys can see, Eleven Labs makes some insanely good speech synthesis, the best I've ever heard. I'll be frank about that; it is the best. And I always say this, but if you make anything cool with Eleven Labs, please share it to my Discord server. It's all based on AI stuff. I want to see them. So yeah, Eleven Labs as a company just came out of beta, which is a pretty big deal. They released Eleven Multilingual V2, which I've had access to for a while, but they sort of finalized it up, and this is the first time that everybody has access to it. This is a foundational AI speech model for nearly 30 different languages. They say it's going to advance media companies, game developers, publishers, and independent creators across the world. Yeah, dramatically improve the accessibility of their content is an understatement. I mean, you can do this with any voice, and it comes out nearly perfect, speaking any different language. Games from years ago could have translations made via modders, or movies could have perfect voice translations. It, the list goes on. So this brand new model, which you guys can try out at home, is capable of accurately producing emotionally rich AI audio in nearly 30 languages. This is all Eleven Labs' own in-house research, which is pretty impressive considering they're not getting help from Microsoft or any big companies. And yeah, this is localized audio content for international markets across Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. They say this is the The best in the game, and I have to agree, it's no challenge. Now, I would like to take a quick peek at their demo. Just imagine, folks, a festival where the world comes to dance, dine, share stories from our homelands. Wouldn't that be something? 그게 재밌겠다. 아리랑을 노래하며 전통을 공유하는 것도 좋겠네. 게미 세카세 데토 시르타키 게타 노스티 마무사카. 아우타라 마글루토 타요 낭 아도보 아틀레촌 파라 살라핫. Och vi kan också visa upp vår mittsommarstång och dansa runt den. Aha, och vad är det om en sahrawiya tätt en nujum? Och i tabba, hemson och tabba och falafel. Så att sakura no stade no butokai ni, mina san och showtai suru no adode show. Åh, oh, tack. A vi mogli bli tanzuvati pid zvuk i bandure i spivati legendi naših predkiv. Ta, i zvisno, jak na štet vishnevoho peroha i gorilke, štob pidigriti duši. Ve tabi ki, baklava, kulturlerin bir araya gelmesinin tatlı bir yanı olmalı. Now, and for Hay to throw baffles and a clump and dance neat. Absolutely. From Arirang to Beklava, our shared laugh, story, and delicious treatsy will indeed make this a global fiesta to remember. Admittedly, that was a little bit more impressive than my demo. As you guys hopefully heard from the intro, it's supposed to maintain the speaker's unique voice characteristics across all of the languages, including their original accent. And by the way, guys, they also released something called professional voice cloning, which I actually have graciously gotten access to. Normally, this takes a long time, but we prepared it in advance. This is actually fine-tuning the model on your voice, so it's way, way more accurate. This is essentially an indistinguishable voice. I'll link the rest of this blog post down below if you guys want to take a look. I don't know about you, but I want to get into some more testing. Basic primer on Eleven Labs here: you can clone your own voice with, you know, a few minutes of audio. When you're generating in this speech synthesis tab, your voice will appear in here, and we have a ton of voices to pick from. You also have these voice settings. Essentially, the stability here will make you sound more emotional when you speak. The closer it goes to the left, clarity will try to make it sound more like your voice. The more the slider goes to the right, style exaggeration. Apparently, the more you put it towards the center, exaggerates your voice a little bit more. But I haven't noticed much of a difference with this. Speaker boost just makes the audio sound more like the original voice at the cost of some generation speed. And of course, this is where you select the model. We have four different models to choose from now. 
11 Multilingual 2, which is the big one here. This is the one that just came out. Look at all the languages that are supported, viewers. English, Japanese, Chinese, German, Hindi, French. Yeah, 28 of them. Then they have 11 English V2 Alpha, which I already covered in a previous video, but this is a really, really awesome English model. And then they've got the uh, old models here, English V1 and Multilingual V1. These two I really wouldn't mess with or bother with at all at this point. And of course, this is where we type our speech in. Let's do a comparison between Multilingual V1 and V2. Starting off with V1, we'll keep the settings exactly the same. This is a test! I am now speaking English. Wow, have any of you subscribed or liked the video yet? What, you haven't? Well, honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Definitely impressive speech generation, but let's listen to V2. This is a test. I am now speaking English. Wow, have any of you subscribed or liked the video yet? You haven't? Well, honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, that is miles better. And we're just looking at English here. English V2 actually does a better job than multilingual V2 for just that specific language, obviously. Take a listen. This is a test. I am now speaking English. Wow, have any of you subscribed or liked the video yet? What? You haven't? Well, honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Back to multilingual V1. Start out with Spanish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Comúnmente conocido simplemente como SpongeBob. Es una serie de televisión de comedia animada estadounidense creada por el educador en ciencias marinas y animador Stephen Hillenburg para Nickelodeon. Narra las aventuras del personaje principal y sus amigos acuáticos en la ciudad submarina ficticia de fondo de bikini. Hasta 2019, la serie era la quinta serie animada estadounidense con más tiempo en emisión. Su popularidad la convirtió en una franquicia mediática, la serie mejor valorada de Nickelodeon y la propiedad más rentable para Paramount Consumer Products. Para 2019, había generado más de $13 mil millones en ingresos por mercancía. Switching to V2. SpongeBob SquarePants, comúnmente conocido simplemente como SpongeBob, es una serie de televisión de comedia animada estadounidense creada por el educador en ciencias marinas y animador Stephen Hillenburg para Nickelodeon. Narra las aventuras del personaje principal y sus amigos acuáticos en la ciudad submarina ficticia de fondo de bikini. Hasta 2019 la serie era la quinta serie animada estadounidense con más tiempo en emisión. Su popularidad la convirtió en una franquicia mediática, la serie mejor valorada de Nickelodeon y la propiedad más rentable para Paramount Consumer Products. Para 2019, había generado más de 13 mil millones en ingresos por mercancía. Wow, ok, I can already tell that V2 was way, way better. Like, staggering levels of better. Not only was the voice just rendered in a more clear, less fuzzy way, but I think the accent was just more accurate. You want to hear what it sounds like with a non-multilingual model? It's pretty funny. SpongeBob SquarePants, comúnmente conocido simplemente como SpongeBob, es una serie de televisión de comedia animada estadounidense creada por el educador en ciencias marinas y animador Steven Hillenburg para Nickelodeon. So from what I understand, when you use the 11 English model with a different language than English, it just gives an extremely thick American accent and probably mispronounces things. Let's go ahead and try some German. Back to V1. Zitronen sind eine beliebte Frucht, die Menschen in kleinen Mengen verwenden, um Backwaren, Soßen, Salatdressings, Marinaden, Getränke und Desserts Geschmack zu verleihen. Sie werden jedoch selten alleine verzehrt, da ihr intensiver, saurer Geschmack dies verhindert. Moving up to V2. Zitronen sind eine beliebte Frucht, die Menschen in kleinen Mengen verwenden, um Backwaren, Soßen, Salatdressings, Marinaden, Getränke und Desserts Geschmack zu verleihen. Sie werden jedoch selten alleine verzehrt, da ihr intensiver, saurer Geschmack dies verhindert. I don't speak German, but that sounded a heck of a lot more like my voice than the V1 did. That's so crazy. There's nothing weirder than hearing your own voice perfectly speak another language that you can't even understand. It's like an alternate universe where Matt is German or Spanish. So weird. Anyways, I'm super impressed by V2 with that one. Let's go for some Italian here. Back to V1. Amo le limoni con una passione profonda e sincera. Il loro sapore intenso e aspro ha la capacità di trasformare ogni piatto, aggiungendo vita e vivacità. 
Sia nei dolci che nei piatti salati, le limoni sono un ingrediente indispensabile che eleva la cucina a un livello superiore. La loro fragranza, il loro colore vivace, la loro versatilità in cucina mi affascinano ogni giorno di più. Le limoni non sono solo un frutto, sono un simbolo dell'arte culinaria, un vero dono della natura. Back to V2. Amo le limoni con una passione profonda e sincera. Il loro sapore intenso e aspro ha la capacità di trasformare ogni piatto, aggiungendo vita e vivacità. Sia nei dolci che nei piatti salati, le limoni sono un ingrediente indispensabile che eleva la cucina a un livello superiore. La loro fragranza, il loro colore vivace, la loro versatilità in cucina mi affascinano ogni giorno di più. Le limoni non sono solo un frutto, sono un simbolo dell'arte culinaria, un vero dono della natura. Again, I have the same comments on that. It sounds so, so much more like my voice speaking it, and it seems just a lot more consistent with the accent, although I'm gonna need your help. You watching right now, if you speak any of these languages, you need to comment and tell me which one sounds better versus V1 or V2, or if it's keeping up with my voice and the accent's correct and all that, because I'm not multilingual like a lot of you guys. Let's go ahead and try some languages that are only supported in V2. Like I said, this supports 28 languages, where the original V1 only had 9 Arabic. في قرية صغيرة كنت مزارع للليمون وأحببت شجر الليمون بشغف كان هناك شجرة واحدة خاصة زرعتها مع جدي جاء تاجر وعرض مبلغا كبيرا لشرائها لكنني رفضت لم تكن تلك الشجرة مجرد ثمرة بل كانت جزءا من ذكرياتي وتراثي تعلمت أن القيمة الحقيقية ليست في المال بل في الأشياء التي نحبها ونهتم بها I'm a little iffy on the accent there. I'm not so sure if that sounds correct. It sounded kind of American to me, but I don't know. You guys that might speak Arabic should let me know. Let's go for Greek. Κάποτε, σε ένα απομακρυσμένο ψαροχώρι, ένα ψαρά ονόματι Γιάννη αποφάσισε να πιάσει το μεγαλύτερο ψάρι στον κόσμο. Με μια τεράστια και παλιά καλαμαριέρα, βγήκε στη θάλασσα και περίμενε. Ξαφνικά, ένιωσε μια τεράστια τράβηγμα στην καλαμαριέρα του. Το ψάρι ήταν τόσο μεγάλο που έσερνε το βάρκα για χιλιόμετρα. Μετά από μια εξαντλητική μάχη κατάφερε να το πιάσει. Όταν επέστρεψε, κανείς δεν πίστεψε την ιστορία του, μέχρι που είδαν το τεράστιο ψάρι. Ήταν το μεγαλύτερο που είχε πιαστεί ποτέ με μήκος πάνω από 5 μέτρα. Ο Γιάννης έγινε ήρωας στο χωριό και η ιστορία του έμεινε θρύλος. I don't know about you guys, but that guy's definitely lying about that. There's a ton of other languages, so if you speak a different language, you should try it out for yourself. And by the way, if you're worried about pricing, the free plan comes with 10,000 characters per month, and you can actually do up to three custom cloned voices. So yeah, you can test this thing out quite a lot for completely free. And also, for your first month, 80% off, only a dollar per month for the starter, which has 30,000 characters a month and up to 10 custom voices, plus commercial licensing. Now, I want to talk about the professional voice cloning, which is something new they've released. The creator, 22 bucks a month, is where this starts, and I worked with Eleven Labs to create a custom voice. It takes a while to train it, but it is really, really high quality. So this is the voice lab where you can see all of your created voices. A lot of these voices you're seeing right here, I created using Eleven Labs voice synthesizer, which makes like synthetic voices. But the ones such as Matt Vid Pro Expressive or Matt Vid Pro Professional over here, these are made using copies of my voice recordings. The expressive one I actually just made last night using some really high quality narration that I did. And then professional is about like three hours of my YouTube videos. And you can see this one is fine tuned. So they actually trained an entire AI model on my voice to create this, giving it a much higher accuracy than you normally would hear. And for some reason with the professional voices, they recommend you use multilingual V1. I'm not exactly sure why. Hello, welcome back to the Matt Vid Pro channel. Just checking, uh, have you subscribed yet? No? Still? What is wrong with you? So you can see using multilingual V1, it still sounds really good, but I think that this older model is holding these professional voices back a little bit. In my opinion, if you go to something like English V2 and then switch to a regular voice, these new models are so much more advanced than these old ones that a worse trained voice model sounds better using the more updated text model. Hello, welcome back to the MatVid Pro channel. Just checking. Uh, have you subscribed yet? No? Still? What is wrong with you? As you can see, that one just has a little bit more life to it, I think. 
Although maybe it doesn't sound exactly like me. This older model using the high quality professional voice sounds more like my real voice, although it is less expressive and fun than the newer models with a normal voice. Yeah, like that's nearly a perfect clone of my voice. It's honestly pretty insane. Even the models that are not the professional ones sound so, so good. I think the professional one's only worth it if you're literally working in a professional scenario, like narrating hundreds of books or something like that. Even then, I still think that they need to update it to work with multilingual V2. I, I would wait until they update it, honestly, to get a professional voice. Because have you heard what good narration to train just a regular model sounds like? I can really express myself. Training the model on good, correct narration is the key to a good-sounding Eleven Labs voice. Pretty good. Let's take a look at some real-world applications for Eleven Labs thus far. There are already some video game mods out there that use Eleven Labs voices, essentially adding brand new voice lines that sound just like the original voice actors from the original video game. And when you combine this with a large language model integration, you could see, like, having conversations with characters in video games that sound just like the original voice actors and you can pretty much ask them anything because it's like you're talking to chat gpt so the world of video games is going to be expanded massively from this so this is audio story ai and this is a project for reviving news and books from the past by reading them aloud using 11 labs you get the idea you can narrate entire books with 11 labs technology and you could translate entire books using ai and then have 11 labs narrate them in a really nice narrator voice in another language and of course, we can also think about that original concept. Imagine a device that I wear on my head, kind of similar to this, where I can speak into it in English and it will project out in whatever translated language in my own voice using this 11 Labs technology, whatever I said, but in another language. That would be pretty amazing. And literally the technology pretty much exists for it right now with 11 Labs as we've seen today. Someone just has to build the device. Of course, it would need internet access and it might have a slight delay, but it's a lot better than nothing. And by the way, AI generated all of the translations that you heard in today's video that we used in 11 Labs. AI is truly magical and I think it's going to connect everybody from around the world for sure. And of course, you would have to create a device like that via the API that Eleven Labs has. I can't really give a good comment on this, but so many developers have used it seamlessly so far. It seems like a pretty good and easy API to use. So overall, Eleven Labs creates some of the best AI technology around. It's truly game-changing, world-changing tech that we're looking at. If you guys have any cool use cases you can think of, leave them down in the comments or talk about it on my Discord server because I love to think about the future of AI technology, how it can be used to improve improve our lives. And overall, I think Eleven Labs is truly headed in the best direction for this. They really seem to be a great company and I haven't seen them make a misstep so far, we could say. So keep up the good work, guys. And I think they do have some things on the horizon here. Voice transfer, which I still don't fully understand, but that's something to look out for. So subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and uh, yeah, we'll continue to cover Eleven Labs on this channel. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Send your best results to my Discord server and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.